Can you hear me now? <coughs> can you Hello? hear me now? No? Sorry, that was so bad. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. We're good. We're live. Sorry, y'all. All right, so we're going to do it again. Right. Go, go, go. Go. So sorry about that, y'all. I hope you can hear me now. Breaking news. I have a girlfriend now. I listened to your advice, and I just want to introduce her real yes. quick. Please, well. Me. Oh, my God. Oh my Thanks, God. John, for having me on this show. Dude, girlfriend. Thank you, Naz. I'm really excited to be here. I was introducing my girlfriend. You said best friend. Girlfriend. Said, best friend is after this one. After. Best friend is after this one. What are the questions that you have for me? Best friend is after this one. What are we doing, Johnny? It's, oh, my God. Oh, I'm so excited. Dude, they already don't believe me. I need you to, like, actually, like, she's here. She's down. Too. You want me to just she leave? Signed, but I'm already up here. She signed a release form. That's I'm already fine. up here. What are we going to do? What? What are we doing? We're already up here. All right, fine. I'm just going to walk out. All right. Let's, I wish we could see the comments, but we can't. If I just walk out. If will walk out, and she walks <laughs> in. It's like three seconds. Of the They've thing. missed me on the show, bro. I want to have this moment, you know? You're new to this. Yeah, but this is your first time If you're calling show. her up here, obviously, it's not going to be just about you. It's going to be about you and her. It's not. Yeah. Okay. Not let's see Let's see what people are saying. Hello, everyone. Ha ha. Troy. Where? Hello, Troy. Hey, everyone. Where's Hello, Nazareth? Hi, Mickey, John. Good to see Amy. you. Yes, John, you're crystal Sarah, clear. Sarah Voss, don't know who you are. God you do you. know. She's a big fan, bro. This is Pietro, my friend. Hi. Not my girlfriend. My name okay. is Pietro. And we can see the... the Is your... Okay. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> you read that? Which one? Is your girlfriend the one from Fern? Uh, who's Michael Ramirez? <laughs> He's a big fan of Fern. I'm a big He's fan a of big you. Fan of Fern. Um, okay, Bobby Miller. We're, we're gonna introduce. <laughs> we're gonna introduce. I'll bring you back. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I'm gonna introduce He's you gonna guys introduce. to an amazing person. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead and take it away. No, no, you go ahead. I want to know what you think of her. Um, who was that guy? Michael Rodriguez. Michael Ramirez. Michael Ramirez. I want to um, introduce you to a. Good friend of mine. Um, here, let me bring him on. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, the mannequin from Fur. This is my girlfriend. We're having every technical difficulty in the book. This is a chaotic show. No, it's waiting for live signal. Mom, lower the volume. Okay. All right, this is so chaotic. Pietro, can you come and take her? Yeah, sure. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. I'm going to introduce her. Please welcome. Oh, I'm nervous. My new girlfriend. This is Hannah from Loma Linda. Yeah! Yeah! Hi! Yeah! Yeah! She is... How long have we been dating? Don't look at my, my workplace. Yeah. Um, like five months? Five? No, we've been dating two months. Officially two months. Officially two months. months Officially by the book, two months. Five months, yes. And um, she was one of the brides my parents were arranged with, so she got six camels, three goats. I'm not Arab. I'm She's not Arab. Hispanic. Where are you from? I'm from, Loma, I'm from Loma Linda, but I'm Colombian, like by heritage, so. Yeah. Colombians. Columbia, South America, not Arkansas. Is there a Columbia in Arkansas? Yeah. What? No, South Carolina. With the U. South Carolina. So oh, sure. If y'all have any advice about Colombians, you should have let me know two months ago because I'm kind of in deep, you know? Um, <laughs> me and Hannah met at church, so I took your advice. We met at church, and uh, we just, what did we bond over? Our love. What, we were just really we sarcastic. Yes, we had the same so language. Joke. The um, jokes, the yeah. comedy part, you know, when we're not being serious. Finish each other's sandwiches. Sin, sin. hummus. Sandwich, hummus. We didn't other's practice. Hummus. We don't have a script right yeah, now. Yeah, we this literally. It's all improv. It, we're both good at that. Yeah. Improv, but. Yeah. As you can tell, this was thrown together last minute. My dad just wanted to, to me to introduce you guys because he loves having you all part of our lives, which we love. We love all of you, and so we just wanted to update you with she's. My girlfriend, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and I she's am real. I'm his girlfriend of two months. Um, yes. <laughs> Read the teleprompter yes. behind the camera. 
Okay, say it again real quick so they can hear it. Two months, girlfriend, uh, John. Yes, yeah. perfect. All right, sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> perfect. Next up, next up is my other best friend. He's in the room as well. Let's bring him in. Woo! This man is a talented Woo! worship leader. You've probably oh seen him goodness. on the New Year's Hello. special. Yes. Please welcome it's Adam good to be back. Carpenter. It is so good He's to be good. back. Hello, all of you Nazareth fans. I'm a big fan as well. Um, I, I really do miss uh, being here. I was here for New Year's. It was such a such a great time just playing some music with you guys and worshiping God. And so it's great to be back. John, how you doing? I'm good, man. I'm You're really good. Great. I just showed them, broke the news to them. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, the actress Hannah is here today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she was great. She did a great she job great. playing her role. We, yeah. did, we really found her last minute, dude. Yeah, right? she's, yeah she fit the part. Yeah. She did a great job, I thought. Yeah. Is she still here? No, she, oh. she left. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. We, I wanted to say hello. She got the money and Missed it. drove away. Um, but yeah, she was here. How What's are you? new with you, John? What's fill us in? Give us the update. Give us a John update. The John update? Um, I miss being on the show. I miss hosting the show. It's really it's, fun, you know. I get to, news, but yeah. I just don't have time anymore. You know, I'm just. Yeah. Work got me busy. I okay. found someone who likes to use my talents and pay me well. That's good news. Uh, <laughs> That's so great now news. I'm working up in, in the music industry. Yeah. Um, does the mannequin talk? Michael Ramirez still cares about Fern. <laughs> I would like to meet you, Michael. I really would. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I maybe we could connect on Instagram too. someday or something. They said, great casting for your girlfriend, John. Yes. Yes. We found her on FarmersOnly.com. <laughs> FarmersOnly. Yes, from Loma Linda. Was she really Loma from Loma Linda or was that I a part did, of the bit? No, that's part of the bit. Okay. We wrote that in. <laughs> great. We wrote all her lines. Awesome. And, and the whole like thing about how she has to cover... The word, her, her job, she's an actress. She doesn't oh, actually have okay, that job. Okay, that makes that's way that's way funnier. Yeah, I perfect. So, <laughs> so how much are you charging me to be on the um, show? Can we talk about that off camera? Yeah, we can. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, anyway, so John, give us. Are you traveling soon? And yes. You, give us a life update here. I might be going to Morocco on Sunday. Oh my gosh, Morocco! Ooh, not confirmed yet. Have you been before? Never. Oh never my gosh! So the first time to Morocco. Have any of you guys been to Morocco? Great question. Let's see. Yeah, here. let's see if anyone. If you I haven't been, I want to see you say no. I want to know you're here. Okay. <laughs> Michael Ramirez has never given up on Fern. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. You know what they call Fern in Morocco? Hashish. Hashish. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Hashish, Don't look it up, hashish guys. Hashish in Morocco. Hashish is. Hashish is. <laughs> let's keep it that way. Yeah, let's, let's keep, it, keep that it that way. way. Picture froze. Picture apparently. froze. Good. Bobby. So you get to see us for longer. Hey, Bobby. Where is Nazareth and what have you done for his body? <laughs> With his body. Yeah. Hey, Beverly. Hey, y'all. All right. Perfect. So. I got the jacuzzi heated up. You're not frozen. Yeah. You're fine. Do you want to? Okay. Do you want to swim with me? After, you want to go the show? Yeah, we actually we're gonna go into the jacuzzi here in a bit. Yeah, we're gonna go into the jacuzzi. Um, yeah, um, it's a great place to unwind, hang out. We got a new comedian coming up to be on the show right now. He's up and what coming. Please welcome the one, the only, the one, the only <laughs> Pietro. P I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Please welcome Yamo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, thanks for having me back. Bobby Miller, good to see you again. Pictures and froze. That's Elena asked, video. John, do you have a real girlfriend? Yeah, it's me. That's why I'm up <laughs> Hey! Um, <laughs> jokes, right? Yeah, jokes. So uh, what, what's I your question for the audience? Why? <laughs> Naz! Yeah. Please welcome my dad, Naz! This is... This is so sad. John having to prove he has friends and a girlfriend. Yeah, that's what money can do for y'all. Oh, oh, John, come back. Hello. This is a crazy day today at our house. So that's uh, it's good to see you guys. All right. No, no, no. I want to bring you back, guys. I'm not done with no, you. Done. No, you're not. Come on, John. Sit down. Turn off the volume on that. Okay, John, come on and sit down. <laughs> We're going to interview, continue to... Why did you cut me off? What is it? John, put us on. Oh, I have... Oh, uh, oh let me get Adam. In. Yes, Adam is here. Yes, let's do that. Oh, my God, I just turned off the camera. You turned off the camera. This is lovely. Right, there we go. Classic. Yeah. Today, every technical difficulty is from us, not from us. This is Adam, people. Hello. Adam is a worship leader. Yes, I am. And Adam, uh, you've been working at what church right now? It's called Rhythm Church. 
in Oceanside, California. Okay, and how long does it take you to write a worship? Do you write, you write yeah. original uh, yep. worship? Right. How how the process go? Like from point one, like what do you do you think about it? Does the Lord give you some worship leader say the Lord just gives them the song and the music? Yeah, a lot of times it feels like you're just kind of stuck in the middle and like you're kind of receiving this song to share, and um, it's a pretty crazy experience. There's actually so the church that I'm at right now, they're pretty like open to the idea of singing original songs, and so sometimes. It'll be like on a Saturday night, I'll just be alone playing piano and I'll feel like the Lord's like giving me like a verse or a chorus and I'll tell, I'll show it to my, uh, my pastor and he'll be like, let's sing it tomorrow. And so we'll, really? we'll introduce new songs almost like maybe three or four times a month. And you think of it song. in one day? A lot of times, it, it kind of, it's kind of different for each thing. For each song, they kind of come in different paces. But, uh, but yeah, sometimes they come in one day, sometimes they come in three or four months. It's always just like these ideas running around your mind and... Yeah, but sometimes they happen in a moment. Sometimes you'll be just doing a song during the, the set of worship, and you'll like have this idea, and you'll start singing a brand new song right there on the spot. Well, I want you to know these people that are watching this show, they're experts in everything. So if you have any questions for them, they'll be able to answer it right now. Does Adam ever need to return his songs back to God? That's what the whole thing is. <laughs> the whole thing is just returning. So you feel like you're receiving. The best part about all that is you get to share it with others who get to join in. And that's the coolest part of the whole thing, is you, you're given a gift, but then a lot of people get to experience it and return that all back to God, which is so great. Do you get people telling you you look young? Are you not allowed at like yeah. late night church services? I can't go in. Yeah, late night anyone. church services, they want to see my ID and they don't let me in. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is awesome. I'm hearing an echo feedback. Yeah, that's... that's uh, Pietro doing the song. This house, this studio is crazy right now. We have a, by the way, uh, all right. Well, thank you so much, Adam. I appreciate your time. <laughs> Anybody else asking? Hey, thank you, Nazareth. Who bleaches bleach your teeth? Um, I do it myself. That's wonderful. It's all is natural. There, is there any product? Uh, Are you using my Sensodyne. vitamins? Sensodyne. And your vitamins have been helping. Oh, my vitamins right? have been helping yeah. them a yeah, lot. My That's muscles right. feel good. My, my whole body feels great. It's I love this man. Yeah. All right. Thank you for having me. Okay, guys, I want you to know this was no joke. John does have a girlfriend. Thanks to you guys for the recommendation. I'm going to bring Hannah back. Hannah, come on in. She's not an actress. She is a real person, a godly Christian young lady. And how are you? Good. How are you? This is awesome. So, um, okay. Come close to the camera. This is awesome. I want to ask you something everybody's asking. Why John? Oh, my God. <laughs> come on. If, yeah, I just want to know. He's my best friend. So yeah. You ultimately want to be with your best friend. So R really? Yeah. Uh, but he has <laughs> he has enough best friends. He, he, we just introduced him to do best friends. But, but honestly, what do you find attractive about John? He's very kind, and he's just an amazing person. And he does what he loves. We we do the same thing for work. So no, I mean why? John, not Nazareth. I'm talking. <laughs> about. <laughs> well, he's he has a great dad, right? You, yeah, that's the now. Right, talk. guys. <laughs> Adam is delightful. They said, uh, and welcome, <laughs> Hannah, Kristen, Kristen, go with our new friend. You know, we got a new friend. But why John? That's right. They're asking why John. Oh, Hannah, you are the girl from Fern. No, Michael. Oh my God. Michael. <laughs> Michael Ramirez. Come on, let's move with the. <laughs> okay, Adam has earned the paycheck. Yeah. What is the greatest song for a memorial service? <laughs> you can only imagine. I can only imagine. That's the best. That's right. So um. So you're Col you're Colombian. You were born uh, here. Yes. Right. They're not paying me anything, Sarah. No, they didn't. Pay. I gave the money back. Human. Hannah is really good at memorizing the script. No, it was a joke. She is really his girlfriend. And this is John's first girlfriend. I'm telling you guys, he never had any other girlfriend. The only one. The one and only. And this is awesome. I'm glad he found a Christian young lady and a beautiful young lady. So Thank that's you. really that's really helpful. This Do is you, a real moment, by the way. This is a real moment. This it, is, it is. Now, is there anything you need to know? Because these people know everything, and they will answer any question you have. And they, yeah, go ahead. Should I ask you or should I? Ask no, you? ask them, and they will answer it. Well, I have a joke. Go ahead. So, how do you know um, a vegan is vegan? How? They'll tell you. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> that's good. Oh, okay. Good. Says first girlfriend, hopefully only girlfriend. That's uh, yeah, that's our prayer, yes. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. So, what's wrong with her? <laughs> Not that, yeah, like I have my master's degree, so maybe a lot or maybe nothing. You have a master's degree? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. In what? In business, global oh, business. Global business. Because I, I love culture. So it doesn't work here for you. You have well, to be global to to use it. Well, we're seeing where God wants me. You know. Amen. So. Amen. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Can we still use the word master or is that really <laughs> offensive to some people? Why uh, is it offensive? What? Why is master? Because some people didn't finish high school <laughs> in this room. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I take it tonight off the cuff. Yeah, exactly. We're just having fun. We might. Mistake number one. If he give you money, keep it. <laughs> That's number one. Yeah. G uh, come on. John, give me some advice to John and, uh, and Hannah. Let's see. Hi, Hannah, you're beautiful with a sweet spirit. John is blessed to find you. Okay, did you oh, hear that, John? Did John pay her $2 for her pay? A hundred. Uh, <laughs> we answer questions from Naz all the time. Yeah, and she's funny too. Good. Yes, they will tell you they're vegan. <laughs> and what bad jokes. <laughs> what? You squeeze the tomato and only juice came out. Comes out. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything, Bobby? Who is building the fence? Oh, this is coming from a divorced man, <laughs> so be careful. That uh, one went over my head, so. Who is building the fence? Oh, John willing to move? <laughs> Where to you? Uh, your Belinda? No, not your Belinda. Loma Linda. <laughs> Loma Linda. God sent me to a buffet. I go where he leads. <laughs> okay, he, Naz is global. Yeah, I finished high school, many of them. <laughs> and it says, take everyone out into in and out They probably will. You look sweet, so run now. <laughs> this is from Brent to you, Hannah. You look so sweet, run now. Let's celebrate and hydrate. Yes, we have to hydrate every 15 minutes. Well, thank you so much. I don't want to put you. you on the spot, and, and, but thank you so much. It was an honor. The honor is mine. Please, people, every 15 minutes, hydrate and share. John, you want to come here and... We'll talk to you. Today is off the cuff, people. We don't do that normally. Last time we did that was show number like 150. Can I keep the 100 she gave back? Yes. Okay. Have a seat. So, John, are you, uh, are you ready to have a girlfriend? No. No? I'm more than ready, dude. I've been waiting for it my whole life. I know. We've been praying for you. <laughs> and God answered. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, what do you call it? So, you might be going to Morocco. Maybe. To do what? Film videos. Guys, this is the only time John would talk to me, so I'm going to take advantage of this show and just get him to answer questions. Oh. Yeah. All right, go for it. Ask me anything. So where were you sleeping the last two weeks in Los Angeles? At my boss's house. Your boss's house? Yeah. Okay, good. And, uh, I signed an NDA. I can't really talk. You can't talk to me? Even to your dad? No. I signed so many things. I still talk. Uh, okay, so... Uh, What's your, what's the next project for you, young man? TikTok. I'm just editing TikToks right now. Okay. So, what advice do you guys have to new young people that just started dating? And yeah, what advice do we have? And you can be funny people. I know. Here's Johnny. Okay. Let's see. Listen up, you two. This is a funny show. I think this is the first time we sat next to each other. I know. We never sat. We never down. sat next to each other. It's always. Been oh, it's like always funny. either you hosting the show or me hosting the show. I didn't mean the show. I meant ever. <laughs> well, when you were born, I sat next to you. <laughs> True. I'm just kidding. No, no. This is the first time. This is the first time. The yeah, show, together yeah, in the show. Year. Oh, one time I I had you in a podcast and I introduced you, Wait, but yeah, you were across right. from me. We were across. This is awesome. Wow. Yeah, you have my hair. I do have your you hair. You do, my real hair. That's mine. Uh, <laughs> don't let them meet the parents. Okay, here we go. This is the advice Come, uh, coming up. Don't let them meet the parents. They are too late. You get 10000 already for winning Dear Mama. You know about that? Yeah, yeah. they know everything. Yeah. I share everything about you. How do you think you. I, I can afford a girlfriend, bro? <laughs> or an actress for $100. An uh, actress to pay. D don't be no. too serious between each other laugh. Take don't care. Don't be serious between each... Yeah, we're good on that. Take her to Dutch Bros in Yukaipa. You want to go to Yukaipa? Yeah, she loves Yukaipa. Yeah. Who doesn't? Hey, John, why haven't you called your dad lately? 
Are you complaining to them about yeah. me not calling you? Uh-huh. You don't talk to me much. During the show? Oh, yeah. I, sh I share with them everything. They know your social security number, oh, too. Oh, great. Yes, yeah, congrats great. on Dear Mama. Thank you, Sarah. It's been that long. Dang, it has been long since I've been on the show. Yeah, Bill's the alphabet. No. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> I, I have no, no advice. advice. Sorry. Sorry, she's single. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Okay, John, if you, if you two ever get into an argument, you have two choices. You can either be right or you can be happy. Paul, I learned that on the first date. Don't worry. <laughs> so be happy, John. And uh, if she asks you a question, play stupid. <laughs> she has her master's, so I don't have to play stupid. Please know she has feelings. Oh, this is good. Yeah, that's a good one. That's I'm a good one. No Men don't understand that sometimes. Yeah. Boys, learn from these people. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see. Can you two be twins? Can you two be twins? Yeah, if they made a wig just like mine. Yeah. We'd look alike. I used to look like him. Yeah, my dad used to have long hair. This is what you're going to look like in about All right. 10 years. Never no, I'm just kidding. Never disrespect each other in public. Is it? Be kind. Talk, talk it out privately. That's oh. good. We do that. Yeah, we do that. You guys already have arguments? Yeah, all the time. But Two months. She's Colombian and I'm Palestinian. Oh, she's Colombian and Palestinian. She'll beat you up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Colombian women hit. Yeah. yeah. We both have terrible governments. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They both have bad governments. Yeah, we both have bad government. <laughs> Always apologize first, John. That's for you. She, she dating you, so the Masters is not in relationship. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Happy. Oh my God. What? Brent said she's dating you. So the masters is not in relationships. <laughs> okay. Happy girlfriend. Right. Happy life. Better to marry than to burn. <laughs> hey, it's in the Bible. Thanks. Hello, Pastor Ray Carter. Ladies and gentlemen, remember on October 1st, we're having a laughter for all in uh, Havasu, Lake Havasu City. Come on down, 7 o'clock is showtime, 6 p.m. is free barbecue, it's all free, invite a friend. I was just on the radio today in Lake Havasu City and we talked about the event. So go to laughterforall.org, get your free ticket and uh, would love to see you there. Right. Always open the door making sure she goes first. Yep. Okay. Got that down. I'm going to go hang out with... Pay attention yeah. to when she sends you signs and signals like now. Alright, yeah. We're gonna like, go. Yes, you did that, so you better go. You didn't even handle this one. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do my best. I'm yeah, nervous. You're nervous. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, come on in, Pietro. Oh, you have to go, guys. Yeah, we have to go. Stay for second. Come on, have a seat. This is Pietro, John's friend, and uh, an amazing drummer, ladies and gentlemen. What question do you have the people? You asked me a question earlier that you want them. To... Can you kill the dog, please? Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, marry up. I did. She's heavier than me. <laughs> he married up. She's heavier than him. That's horrible, right? But it's Brent. It's okay. Always listen or at least pretend to. If you ask to ask, are you mad? You're already too late, right? When dining out, you pay for the meal and heartburn. Okay, he does that. I always, his mom always tell him, you pay, pay. Always pay. Pay attention to which, okay. Let's see, never walk away from an argument. The same argument will come up next time. All true. right. Very true. So what is your question for the people? Yeah, my question is, um, it's quite controvers controversial. So. Oh, really? Okay, um, go for it. Hey, we're being monitored by Facebook right <clears throat> now. No, I know, no, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to take a risk, whatever. So um, I think it was a couple of months ago when the government... Um, or not the government, the Pentagon uh, were supposed to release everything that they know about UAPs or also UFOs. known as well. It was called UFOs for for a very long time, but they oh actually, no, they changed it. They changed it, yeah. So UA, UAP is a unidentified aerial phenomenon. Oh, it's not an unidentified foreign well, object. I mean, it, oh, you can use the word foreign now because it's not politically correct. Well, if you use UFO. It's, I mean, the stigma with UFOs is that, you know, a bunch like, of crazy people living in the forest. Like, oh, there are aliens everywhere, you know? Yeah. So they don't call it UFOs. So they don't call it UFOs? They don't call it UAPs. 
UAP. Can, UAP, UAP, can UAP. everybody around? Uh, UAP, yeah. UAP, UAP, okay. So, so the, go- the government uh, was supposed, or sorry, the Pentagon were supposed to release everything that they know about, about them. And so when the time came, they said, I don't know. Oh, okay. So that bothers you? That bothers me. Bothers Do you me. believe in UAEs? UAPs? <laughs> UAPs? I mean, if people will see them, yeah, they're obviously real. I mean, whether or not. Uh, what if they are? You know, one time I was talking to a high general in the military. I won't mention where and when. And he said, we're always trying new new weaponry, new fl- planes. Like when the B-2 bomber came out. Yeah. When they, for 20 years, they were trying it. And people would think they saw UFOs. It wasn't a UFO. It was the B-2 bomber. (coughs) So I believe it's demonic activities. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I think it's demonic activities. I don't believe there's any creatures outside of Earth. You believe that? I'll tell you why. I, I do believe it. I believe that there are other things out there. Because I think naturally as humans, especially if we're a race Christian, we want to like unknowingly put God in a box, you know, when God's not. He can't be put in a box, you know, he's so I big. can't, you're right. <laughs> but I mean, like, if you think about just a couple hundred years ago, we literally thought that the universe re- revolved, or, yeah, the universe revolved around the earth, but we were so wrong, you know, we realized, oh, no, the earth revolves around the sun. But the Bible knew that correctly. We, we used to think otherwise. But the Bible always knew that we revolved around the sun. The Bible also doesn't say that there's nothing else out there. See, it says here, I, I believe in UFO because my mother-in-law got here somehow. <laughs> I love this. Uh, I think it's just a distraction for people who play with fidget spinners. <laughs> fidget spinners, they stayed in 2016. I have not seen one since. The Bible said long before the earth was a sphere. That the earth was a sphere, right? When people used to think the, uh, the earth was square. I thought the earth was flat. And when people, th- you still believe the earth is yeah, flat? Yeah, I think the earth is flat. And you believe there's UAEs? UAPs, yeah. UAPs. The earth is you flat. believe all that? M- m- flat earth, yeah. Do you believe you owe me money? <clears throat> you believe what? You owe me money. Uh, Remember you used to borrow money, a lot of money? Yeah, I thought I'd... If you believe the earth... Really? You still believe the I earth thought, is flat? I thought I paid you back. <laughs> Have you flown Southwest? No, I'm just kidding. I'm no, I'm just, just kidding. kidding. But really, you, wanna, you, were, you were... You know, his question, he was upset that why the government is not, you know, showing the report that they said they were going to show. They're capping. They're lying. Yeah. I believe my head is flat. I believe in UFOs. Lots of unidentifiable flying objects out of control in my kitchen. <laughs> That's called a fight. <laughs> this is funny. All right, uh, cool. Well, thank you so much, man. Uh, you thank guys you. can go to the jacuzzi Appreciate and that. enjoy yourself. We're gonna be talking all about that tonight. Appreciate it. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. God bless. Can you, you guys. adjust my camera so yeah. it can, we can just do the show? All right, people. It's nine o two. Can we hydrate and share, please? All right. Uh, okay. Perfect. So thank you so much, guys. I had these guys, and they wanted to be on the show, and I figured it's fun because John always, whenever he did the show, was so funny. But now he does have a girlfriend. This is the true story, this honest truth. Hannah is his girlfriend. We've been praying for a, a believing girlfriend that loves the Lord, and she does. She's always at church, and she's educated from a good family. So... Praise God for that. So anyway, thank you guys for your prayer for him. Naz, hey, you owe me money. <laughs> well, if the guy believes that the earth is flat and he believes in UFOs, then might as well just ask anything. John, can you give my water? All right. Uh, check out books, something going on out there. Bye, have fun. Yes. He sits upon the circle of the earth. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, enjoy John and friends tonight. Thank you. Glad to see John and now Hannah are friend and friends. Thank you. Thank you again. You guys are so sweet. And I, love, I always, you guys know everything about me and my family. So I always want you to be up to date. Uh, last night I asked you the question, what you don't want to hear at your birthday party? What you don't want to hear at your birthday party? This is what you guys came up with. They were out of chocolate, so we got you a carrot cake. 
Do you smell something burning? Things you don't hear at your birthday party. When did you get out of jail? You're still alive? Number 16. The government at the front door and they are here to celebrate with you. Number 15. Who invited Biden? <laughs> Number 14. Wow, you gained weight. You should pass on eating the cake. Number 13. Things you don't want to hear at your birthday party. I was hoping she would not show up. Number 12. At her age, I'm surprised she remembered there was a party. Number 11. Who's your cosmetologist? Cosmologist, not cosmetologist. Who's your cosmologist? Number 10. At a pool party. Here's your waterproof depends. Things you don't want to hear at your birthday party. Number 9. I've fallen and I can't get up. Number 8. My gift is a six-month subscription to AARP. She'll never use it up. Number seven, let's hurry with the cake. He could expire at any time. Number six, the Botox was a waste of money. Number five, you're wearing your birthday suit and it needs ironing. <laughs> Number four, things you don't want to hear at your birthday party. He looks so good, the mortician did a wonderful job. Number three, what's the fire truck doing outside? Number two, turn on your hearing aid so we can sing to you. And number one, things you don't want to hear at your birthday party. Clear. <laughs> That's the, clear. You don't want to hear that. So anyway, right now your first question for the night, ladies and gentlemen. Give me the worst name for a, a gum company or a worst slogan for a gum company. Okay, here we go. This is what Rita came up with. She said, we'll stick to you with Stretch Tooth Gum Company. Find us under most restaurant tables. So this is the question we want you to answer. Let's see. Worst name for a gum company. Uh, let's see. Here we go. And let's put it here. And let's paste it. Oh, it will not do that. Okay, let's see. Okay, I can write now. Okay, thank you, Facebook. Let's try this again. Okay. Hello, first name. No, still not doing it. Come on. Okay. Let's try that. Hello, hello. Okay, and we live. And let's... Okay, let me open up this. It's funny, it won't let me comment. Here we go. I think we can now. All right, here we go. Worst name or slogan for a gum company. Let's see what you guys came up with. Uh, hi, Ned. Hello, Catherine Allen. Welcome. Glad to see you. Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Welcome back. Yeah, John, congrats. Blessing upon the relationship. All right, Troy said, pray for true love will find its way into my life. There's a special secret reason I want it soon. Amen, Troy. We're praying for you that God will send you the right godly woman. You bet. Thanks for sharing your family and friends. Good fellowship. You're welcome. Seriously, you're only 21, thought you were 50. <laughs> Fillings are ours. That's good for <laughs> For a, a gum company, fillings are ours. Keep your dentures in your mouth. <laughs> Good one, Bobby. Gum and guns for senior citizens. <laughs> try uh, try your dent. Okay, chewing gum and bike tire patch. <laughs> okay, bitter gum company. Oh, light I forgot how to say your name, Miss Palma. Laicha, Laicha, is it? Gingivitis chewing gum, bubble yam, yum scum, <laughs> bubble yum scum, you chew. <laughs> All right, let's see. Worst name or slogan for a gum company. Makes a great adhesive product. Bumblebee tuna gum, double US mint, double us mint, Montezuma's gum, Montezuma's gum, spear gum. Chewy when wet. <laughs> try don'ts. That's good. Instead of try then, try don't. B O Y S gum. Bottom of your shoes, gum and pothole filler. Ouch. Ah, 
I chew you chew gum. I chew you chew gum. Sticks to everything. Like Micah. Oh, Laika. That's right. Hello, Laika Palma. I love the name. It just rhymes. Laika Palma. Garbage chew. <laughs> Baba gum chewing company. Good one. We all chew. I chew, you chew, we all chew. P Pat. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's what you call it. Uh-oh. That's what happens when you step on one. Big dread. Chew your teeth out. <laughs> Naughty chew. <laughs> Reduce, reuse, recycle gum. Oh, okay. Loose teeth. <laughs> Good one, Becky. Loose teeth. Chew, ba, ka, gum. Hair included at no extra cost. We missed you, Crystal. <laughs> Great practical joke. Uh, Pierce Mint. <laughs> Pierce Mint. <laughs> Secondhand chew. Ouch. Tooth extractor. Pumpkin spice gum. Hello, Amy. Chew baka. <laughs> chew baka. Ghost pepper gum. Get great denture retriever. You spit them out and then they come right back to you. Good night, you all got to travel early in the morning. Good, hope you have a good show. Show went great tonight, awesome. They were expecting a lot more people at the Cattlemen's Convention, but due to COVID, a small crowd, but a fun bunch. It's always fun, man. Two or more are gathered. There'll be laughs. Good, we'll have a good night. Chew bacon, pew worthy gum, <laughs> pew worthy. Uh, soap flavored gum for when your kids misbehave pre-chewed for you <laughs> bubble blowers chew be gone chew be gone one time chew happy birthday Elena okay it is Here's looking at you. <laughs> chewing, chewing gum works as good as duct tape. All right, sushi flavored gum. <laughs> TMJ gum. <laughs> TMJ. That's just, <laughs> that. What you're gonna get? All right. Happy birthday, Elena. Yes. Chew all night. Chew morning. <laughs> Mother-in-law silencer. Does some chewing gum make your eyes roll? Because there's some teenage girls that they're rolling their eyes while chewing gum. They used to have a girl in Carol's school. Every time Carol walks into the gates of the school, this girl starts rolling her eyes. It's like a train. When you step on something, it automatically starts beeping. Uh, let's see. Good night. Great way to scare ex-girlfriends off. <laughs> Thank you for telling me happy birthday. I appreciate it. Well, your family, Elena. When Elena lost her husband, she was on the show to be able to laugh and be encouraged and lifted up. We don't forget. There's so many things that happened during this show for people who are started joining us the last week two weeks three weeks we've had people who lost loved ones and they were on the show to to just feel there's people that love on them and pray for them and laugh with them we had um, our good friend Teresa from Boston throughout her chemotherapy she was on the show every night and it was it didn't I mean it wasn't the chemo is what healed her, but she was able to tolerate it because of the laughter she has every night. So, praise God for the show, you guys. This is awesome. Great. Let's see. Uh, chew like a cow. <laughs> Sorry, my computer is really slow. I know. I don't know what's going on. It keeps telling me that the connection is slow. Birthday blessing, Elena. Smack your lips, gum. Cut, <laughs> cut gum. Okay, Mentos. <laughs> All right. 
All right. Worst name or a slogan for a chewing gum? <laughs> Riggling Brothers send the ringling. <laughs> Riggling gun. I miss my husband. He was planning my birthday the day he passed away. He was excited to take me to Knott's Berry Farm and it never happened. I'm so sorry. He was a good guy. I met him at one of our stadium events. You guys were there. Double dent. Teeth are overrated anyway. Love you family. Must leave work night all praying for you. Thank you so much. We'll be praying for you, Crystal. Crystal works for Tim Hortons in Ontario, Canada. And it's probably right now it's midnight and she's still working. So God bless you. We'll be praying for you, Crystal. Chew till your jaws drop off. All right, it's 9.15, people. It's time to hydrate and share. So please drink this, all 90 people, and share the show with your friends. I know today was a crazy show. I had a full house, full studio here. But it was fun. Frank, how are you? Uh, Nate, Harry Naz, hope you and your family are doing well. Hello, Nate Stratton. How are you, Nate? Let us know what city and state. Big Dead, that's a bad name for a chewing gum company. I'm, I'm back. Here you are. Please pray for my pastor's wife. It is a one year today that he passed. Oh, we'll be praying for her and his family. Have a good night. Keep having... To stop and restart to hear replays in our future. I'm sorry. Yaka Baba. That's a bad name for, for a, a gum company. In the mouse or under the desk, our gum is fun. <laughs> That's a good slogan. I'll never buy it. In the mouse or under the desk, our gum is fun. Choo Choo Gum. 54321 Gum. Sextra. <laughs> Instead of extra, it's sextra. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Just want to let you know, guys, you're on... Um, I was asked to host a huge show in L.A. called Live from L.A. on KKLA on Monday, the 27th of September. And it's two hours. So the first hour will be in the entire uh, county, Los Angeles area and San Diego. So it's almost all Southern California. And my guest will be Lee Strobel. Uh, he's going to talk about his book, The Case for Heaven. And uh, he's uh, a New York bestseller author. He was a journalist for the Chicago Tribune. They did a movie about him, how he was an atheist who came to Christ. So, and then the second hour, I'm going to have Dr. Mark Sheehan. He's a cardiologist, and he's going to talk about his book, uh, Healing Prayer on Holy Ground. He's going to talk about when people last moments on earth, when they're on their deathbed, as a physician, as a doctor who's, who's seen this so many times, he believes that God's presence is so amazing in that moment. And he's going to talk about that. And then the second half of the hour, I'm going to have Shonda Pierce, my friend, the comedian. So we're going to laugh a little bit. So it's going to be good. I think you can catch it on your on an app or online under KKLA. 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific time this Monday. It's a big, big deal. And I'm so honored to be hosting the show. All right, let's go. Total eclipse of the heart, gum. <laughs> Gooey fruit, <laughs> free dent and scratch, <laughs> a lot of extra gum for you and me, keep, re keep Remington in prayer, okay, let's see, it's, is it 9.23, we're almost, we will be praying for Remington, he's been having trouble eating, oh, that little baby, he was born three and a half pounds, so he was premature, so we'll be praying for him. Vitamin chewing gum, the more you chew, the more energy you get. All right. Bite your tongue gum. Big dud gum. Hubba bubba gum. 
Okay, let's see. Chicklets, not pat. He said, Tannerite gum. Now we'll say good night. Tannerite gum automatic tooth remover. Outer orbit. Oh, that's right. And chain gum. Okay, it is time to do the Guinness Book of World Records. We're going to do a quick Guinness Book of World Records, ladies and gentlemen. And this is from. Um, okay. Let's talk about, it's not National Snitchel Day, but the largest snitchel was achieved by Rudy Detail, Werner Birzak, and Harry Dittbeck from Zenkel and Stefan Platinum, blah, 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 in Germany on September 15, 2019. They made the largest snitchel. How much did it weigh? Over a thousand, under five thousand pounds. Over a thousand, under five thousand pounds. You have three guesses, and if you guess it right or close to it, you'll win this. The one that comes closest to the number or get the right number from the Guinness Book of World Record, you get this toilet paper. Please don't Google it. Don't ask Siri. Don't ask anyone. Just give me your best three guesses. Let's go. All right, the largest schnitzel, how many pounds? Over a thousand, under five thousand. Forrest Gummit, <laughs> that's good. Funny. Okay, Amy said 1432. Okay, uh, Rita, 2022, 2222, 3333, and 34, 56, and 45, 67. Amy said 35, 32. Uh, Laika Palma said 1,500, 3,200, and 45, 60. Becky Ottenberry, 15, 26, 25, 26, and 35, 26. Bobby Miller said 12, 34, 23, 45, and 34, 56. And Punch of Frank said 2750 and uh, 3750 and 4550. Okay, let's see. Good numbers you guys are coming up with. <laughs> okay. 2750, 37 for. Pancho, gum and roses, <laughs> instead of guns and roses, gums and roses, gum and roses. Sarah said 23, 45, 34, 56, and 45, 67. Kristen Gobel said 45, 77. Matthew said 11, 11, 33, 34, and 45, 45. Pastor Ray said Nicorette. <laughs> oh, wait, it's a real thing. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's not popular anymore, but it is. The rooster Ruby would would love some snitchels. Good. Gum and gummer. <laughs> That's good. Jawbreaker. Good one, Troy. All right. What's the heaviest snitchel in the Guinness Book of World Record? Over a thousand pounds, under five thousand pounds. Give me your three guesses. Come on, people. Gum and gummer, that's really good. Any more guesses? Any more guesses? Jaws, <laughs> that's good. Sold. Kristen Goble said thirty five seventy and twenty seven. 75, 27.50 for Pastor Ray, 1,500 and 4,800. Sled, okay, let's see. Uh, okay, 46.78, 34.56 and 49.99 for Catherine Allen. What's eating Gilbert gum? <laughs> All right, sold. All right, guys. The largest snitchel weighed 2,663 pounds. And the two winners are 
Frank from Bakersfield and Pastor Ray from Lake Havasu City and they both get to share this beautiful toilet paper. They can divide it evenly when they have the time. But um, it's uh, the answer. They, their answer was 2750, which is the closest number, 2663. And coming in third place was Becky Ottenberry, but her number is a little further away. So thank you, congratulations. And right now I would like to ask you if you need any prayers. It's 9.23, that's what we do at 9.23. Last seven minutes of the show, we ask you to give us your prayer request. Please give me your prayer request. We're going to pray for little Remington because he's not eating well. He's a new uh, preemie. Also, we're going to pray for Stella, little Stella, and her brother Remy. She's three years old with tumors in her spine. And uh, Remy, they still don't know what's going on with him. He can have it all. I'm generous like that. <laughs> when I see you, I'll give you a roll just for you, Pastor. Michael had a flat tire again. Okay. Pray for all this smoke in California. Yes, the fires are still on, people. So keep praying for California. Pray for rain for the West Coast. Pray for rain. Wow, time really went by fast. Yes, because John and his friends. Dolores came up with 26, 27, and 45. Yeah, we still, so Ray and Frank are still winning. Can't wait until I get some of that church TP. <laughs> Sarah, sorry, you keep rubbing it in. Keep rubbing, okay. <laughs> What do you think? I'm going to travel with toilet paper? Like fill my luggage with toilet paper? Hoping to see one of you guys. Pray for all the forest fires to be put out right. Continued prayer for my carpal tunnel. Yeah, for Bobby. Issues doctor started acupuncture to try to get nerves in my hands to come back. Okay. We'll be praying for that. Elena, pray for the physical therapy. Uh, that the physical therapy helps my back. I'm going on Friday for therapy. My lower back hurts every day. So happy my left knee and leg pain is gone. All right. We'll be praying for that. Praise. I took a COVID test and the test came back negative. Yes. Congratulations. I have to go back to work tomorrow. Amen. Yes. Fill your luggage for TP. I want to see <laughs> You're not going to see it. <laughs> Unspoken prayer for Sarah. Who else needs prayer? Let's see. If you need prayer, let's know. And pray. Guys, I want you to pray, but when you pray, pray for Hannah and John as they grow in their relationship. Thank you, Beverly. When you pray, I want you to know God is not a genie. Pray that his will be done. God answers prayer. God said he commanded us in uh, in Hebrews, for, I think 12.4, it says, um, for we don't have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but has in all things been tempted just as we are, yet without sin. So let us therefore come boldly, boldly, see that word boldly, yet with confidence to the throne of grace, that's, the, that's where you get on your knees and you pray. That's the throne of grace. You come boldly to, boldly to the throne that you may receive mercy and grace in time of need. So when you go, talk to the Lord. But don't just be talking to him as a genie. And at the same time, don't talk to him as someone who's mad at you and hates you and he doesn't want to bless you. See, you got to be in between. God knows before you even ask. He knows about it. Remember in Matthew 6.33. He said for your heavenly father knows what you need. He knows about your needs before you even ask for them. But he wants you to ask. But he's not a genie. So when you pray, pray that his will be done. Because when his will is done. That's when you'll have the real peace, the true peace. Even if it's continued pain, even if it's continued sickness, even if it's continued 
uh, no relationship that you want. Uh, even it's not continued the job that you really desire. And it's hard to say. Because we're living in a time where it's like, you know, every other preacher, and God bless some great preacher like Pastor Ray and other pastors who teach the truth of the Bible. But every other, oh, God want to do this and want to do that, and he wants to give you this. and you, Come on, I wrote the book called Hope in 24 Hours. God can change your situation in 24 hours or less. But it's not a name it and claim it. I don't believe in name it and claim it. And if you believe in the name it and claim it, God, you know, you're really deceiving yourself. You're giving God a bad name. You know when name it and claim it, people who believe in the name it and claim it, those people don't understand God's will and don't understand that God's will is much better for you than your own will. And they're selling themselves cheap. And they're selling cheap. All right, Lily's here. Hello, just drove into the cove. Welcome, Lily. Glad you made it. Say prayer lifted for John and Hannah, the Lord, in the center of their lives as they grow together. Thank you. And spoken for Beverly Wicks. God knows he does. Pray for a friend of mine's son. He had a really bad eye injury in his right eye from work and that his vision will be restored and that pain gone. In Jesus' name, we'll be praying for that. Good night. Pray for Hannah and John. Thank you so much. Preach it. <laughs> I know. I'm just sorry. I got I got carried away. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for fun. Thank you for tolerating my family tonight. My son John, his girlfriend, and his friends. And hope to see you tomorrow night, God willing. Thank you and have a great night.